Hello and welcome to this ONDR module Jaguar XK8 steering wheel and airbag removal swapping whatever you need to know about how to do it. This is video 122 in our series of XK8 videos and we've been working on our car and we've gone from carbon fiber wrap and we've jet uh, carefully putting back the walnut uh, veneer but we need to now change the black leather trim uh, rimmed uh, steering wheel back to the old walnut uh, leather rim steering wheel. So in order to do that we needed the following tools. We needed a 17 millimeter spanner, a T30 Torx bit, a short extension to the ratchet, a couple of ratchets, we used a couple of ratchets and some Loctite. Uh, we got a copy of the uh, Jaguar XK8, it was actually model year 1999. Uh, workshop manual for the four liter and we followed the instructions step by step um, a bit of a warning then uh, when you mess when you're messing about with these airbags uh, this is from the manual before any airbag service is performed at least one minute must elapse after disconnection of the battery positive cab cab cable to allow dissipation of backup power supply energy so basically leave your battery off for quite a while if you can do it um warning in the event of a fault erupting in order, in order in other words if you have an airbag that's actually deployed don't put the fuse back in and uh before you put the, the next airbag in just don't mess with it at all it also mentions the fact you should change the airbag after 10 years but uh, that generally doesn't happen Anyway, a bit of a warning then, uh, before you get into this, the airbags are explosive stroke, stroke pressurized devices, depending which model you have. And if the battery is connected, there is a, a small risk of deployment and it will give an error code. So please be careful if you're going to attempt anything in this video. So as per our usual format, we've split the whole thing into several sections. Section one, removing the airbag. Section two, removing the wheel. Section three, we're actually changing the rim. So we've got to change some plastic trim over. Uh, section four, refitting the wheel. And five, refitting the airbag. First of all, removing the airbag. So the airbag actually obscures the main bolt. Uh, to the steering wheel. So you need to remo remove the airbag first. The airbag is actually fixed to the front of the wheel through these uh, two bolts, the T30 torque bolts, and um, that allows you to remove the airbag and get access to the main bolt, which actually holds the steering wheel through um, some splines, uh, as you can see in the uh, aluminium casting. Again, before we get into removing the airbag, you must disconnect your battery. There's a couple of videos I've done on that. There's a video of V56, how to disconnect your battery. And I've even done a little short video. It's only less than a minute long. The uh, S3 battery disconnection. Once you've waited at least a minute, I, I would uh, leave it for a couple of days, to be honest, if you can afford it. Uh, you need to release the steering wheel lock because you're going to have to move the steering wheel. So you need to put the uh, key in the ignition with the battery disconnect and obviously move to position one. Then you need to turn the steering wheel 90 degrees to be able to access one of those rear uh, T30 torque bolts. And I'll show you how easy it is to find it. So if we look behind the steering wheel here, lurking there in that little recess is your bolt head. And that's the bolt we're after, a T30 Torx bolt. All you have to do is loosen it. It won't actually come out. It's actually captive by the... Um, the mechanism or the uh, structure inside the steering wheel so loosen it as far as much as you can until the uh, steering, uh, steering wheel airbag becomes uh, loose you need to then turn the steering wheel the other side up to 90 degrees in the opposite direction again loosen the bolt as far as you can it won't come out just make sure it's thoroughly loose and then the airbag will simply pull off revealing the loom and the multi connector. It's a single connection on these airbags. And there you go. So all you have to do is depress the little tab and pull the uh, multi plug out. Easy as that. And then simply remove the airbag. Job done. Then you should have you should have something like this with the airbag removed, revealing the bolt. Before we go on to actually moving the steering wheel, a little bit of a note about airbags. I bought an aftermarket, well, I bought an 
uh, Jaguar steering wheel I thought would be would fit in my naivety, but it was for uh, I think it was an XJ. The steering wheel looked identical, but the airbag was different. Everything else in the steering wheel was was very was the same, but the airbag was different. And apparently, there is two sorts of airbag. There's a without speed control, which is the early airbags, and then the latter ones are with speed control, non-adaptive. And I think there is some later types after that as well. And there's lots of different specifics for each model, so you've got to be very very careful with airbags, obviously. And you can see with these two airbags, the left-hand side is my 1996 model year airbag. It has a, a black connector. The right-hand side, the one I bought from X, later XJ, has a grey connector. The wiring going to the airbag is different colours. So there's lots of indicators. And the two multi-plugs uh, or sockets do have some foul pins, so you can't connect a grey uh, pin to a, a, a black socket. So, But um, you can't just buy an airbag and swap them over. Um, if you have a quick look at the multi-plug there, here's... This is the mine. It was a HAA 9180BC AEG for the trim level, a black multi-plug. And the one I bought from an XJ was actually HNC 9180, the same main number, KC, the grey plug. But you see the plug has different, slightly different moulding in there to uh, stop you fitting the wrong one. Now I thought, oh, actually, I just swapped the cover over. Um, you can see the two bolting, the two nuts there, they're welded on, bolting on, but the actual cover of the airbag is not detachable. Is The airbag and the cover is all one unit. It's pop riveted on there. I mean, obviously, you may want to try drilling those out and changing over, but it's not. It's a safety device. You don't really want to be messing with that, and you don't know what else is going to fall out when you turn it off. So uh, the airbag cover is integral to the airbag, so... It's not something you can all you just swap over. So, bit of a top tip: if you're thinking about um, changing your steering wheel, make sure the specification, the model year, the part number, etc., of the airbag in it is identical to the one you're taking off. Uh, section two, then removing the wheel. Uh, the central paint retaining bolt is uh, needs a, a 17 millimeter socket. Um, it's not that tight to be honest it takes a little bit of uh, pressure to get it off and then you can just take it off um, with your fingers it's really that easy bit of a top tip then uh, mark the position or you put a line across the the two pieces I actually put a little punch mark in because my, my, my lines tend to wear off if I'm not careful uh, to mark the position of the steering wheel center and the the shaft of the steering wheel um, uh, uh, sort of uh, shaft to make sure you put the steering wheel back in exactly the same place. Um, also disconnect the steering wheel multi uh, steering wheel controls multi plug, and then the steering wheel should just just pull off. If you don't undo that uh, Y plug as I did, you get off. You get to this point, it won't come off. But there you go. Simple as that. Steering wheel off. Job done. So the steering wheel's removed, you should end up with something like this. Section three then is actually changing the rim. Now, in the case of my car, I actually bought a black steering wheel uh, and had a black plastic molding on the back, a black airbag. Uh, when I took all those off, I actually fitted them back onto uh, my cream uh, steering wheel just for safekeeping. So in order to um, do this properly, I actually... Uh, or to remind myself how I did it, I actually took the black molding off the uh, wooden steering wheel first to sort of practice. So you'll see that bit in a moment. So here we have the, um, we need to remove these buttons, the volume buttons, and also if, if you've got cruise control, you need to remove those from the uh, right hand side as well. But the actual screws are obscured by the horn mechanism, uh, this. Um, sort of aluminium piece there so you need to remove that so you remove the two horn mechanism screws circled in yellow that just comes off and then you can then remove the, uh, the volume button unit bracket screws and it just literally comes off it's really as easy as that you may need to repeat for the other side for the cruise control if you're lucky enough to have cruise control I, I'm not unfortunately 
and it really is as easy as that. So to re remove the plastic trim, there's pairs of mouldings all round the steering wheel that hold that plastic on. The plastic is not bolted on, it's just these little plastic clips all the way around the steering wheel. Now in order to get it off, you need to remove the lower clips first. Here I've, I've actually, it was very difficult to do on camera, so I've actually took the lower clips, the two side clips and the front edge clips off, and it literally will pull off the back ones. And you'll end up with something like this, with the plastic piece removed. Here we have a quick look at those clips again. So you've got a pair in each corner of the rim, a pair at the back, another pair there, a pair at the front, another pair at the bottom, and a pair at the left hand side. Give you some idea of the clips. Lots of clips on this steering wheel rear cover. Now we need to replace it with the original one and it literally just pushes straight on. It's, I'm not going to show you a video of that. It's very, very simple to do. It just pushes on and you end up with this and you just refit the buttons, screw them back on, refit the horn mechanism. Jobs are good and very, very simple. Section four then, fitting the wheel. Uh, as I say, I've got the mark on the steering wheel. I make, you've got to hit that mark basically. Uh, feed the, the steering wheel um, through, for well, feed, feed the wiring lubes through the steering wheel rectangular hole above the center, and then align the steering wheel marks again, making sure you get it bang on. And then you really need to refit this bolt. And if you've got any problems with this bolt, it's an M10 uh, by 1.5 millimeter pitch, 25 millimeters long, is grade 8.8. .8. The washer is two and a half millimeter thick with a diameter external diameter of 30 mil and obviously it's got a clearance hole for the 10 millimeter bolt. They are both zinc coated and the bolt has threat lock originally. The bolt if you want to buy it is uh, JSH11025BPJ. I'd, I uh, tend to reuse this bolt because it, it looks in very good condition but I, you need to re-add the thread lock because that does come off. I then refitted the bolt um, hand tight to start with. You can get it almost all the way fitted, just doing it by hand with the sockets a lot quicker that way. <laughs> and literally when you got it all the way to the end, get your ratchet on it, give it a quick nip up. I couldn't find any torque readings for any of the bolts on this in the uh, workshop manual. So basically as, as tight as you dare. Um, then you need to reconnect the buttons multi-plug the volume buttons, that little white socket goes into the black plug. And then you can, you need to fix, these actually have a, uh, these sort of um, connectors have a position, a little clip that they go in. So you push it into that clip. Now this bit of the airbag wiring loom is quite long and there is a little clip for it to clip into there on the right hand side. It's a bit fiddly, but you can get it in there. Once you've done it, you should end up with something like this. Both looms neatly clipped away, so they're not going to rattle as you're going along. Before you put the airbag on, just check, check the operation of the horn mechanism and the two clips. So the wiring um, is all still connected. That'll make sure the, um, the horn will work once you've fitted the airbag. And your steering wheel fitted should look something like this. So finally, refitting the airbag. Again, <laughs> bit of a reminder if it's necessary, you need to make sure you're fitting the correct airbag and you need to maintain the battery being disconnected. Do not start putting it on with the battery connected. Um, make sure you've got the correct multi-plug socket, in my case the black one. Reconnect it, very easy, just pushes in and then push the airbag into position and then Turn it 90 degrees and tighten up the first airbag bolt. Very easy. Tighten up as, as tight as you can. Not, not over tight, obviously. And then do the same on the other side. Turn the other 90 degrees. Access the other bolt with a small ratchet. Do that one up. And finally, this is the correct uh, function of the horn without the... Uh, the battery connected obviously it should move you should be able to move and you'll be able to flick it back you could feel it flick back on the springs 
So there you go. Steering wheel swapped over. All looking pretty good. Almost got the veneers all sorted at this point. Um, there you go. Um, point of note is um, when, you, when you do actually have it fitted and you fit the battery, um, the ABS light may come on for a short period while it repowers up the airbag. What I find is that it, it does come on for a little bit, but after a while it will actually uh, connect up and it will zero out and it will disappear as long as you've had the battery disconnected during the process. Um, so there you go, removing the airbag, removing the wheel, changing the trim over, fit, refitting the wheel and fitting the airbag. Um, next stage is actually, I've got all the dashboard trim somewhere near. I've got my LED video and my uh, uh, instrument ring video to do. And then I'm going to concentrate on this central uh, console. I've got a couple little jobs I like to do in there as well. I'm refitting the uh, walnut uh, gear surround. Thank you very much for watching. Please take a look at our channel. And uh, thanks a lot for watching again. <laughs> Please like comment, share and subscribe if you like to see more Xcade videos.